important for children who, you know, Pacific Islander children who are growing up on the islands or growing up outside of the islands to see themselves represented in children's literature. I think that when you don't see yourself represented in books or in movies or in TV shows, it can feel like um, it can feel like, you know, does the world know about families like my family? Does the world care about families like my family? So I think it's really, really important that that representation be present um, and that people be able to feel like the representation that they see feels genuine and authentic to um, their experiences. Um, I think that when I was very young, my mom really tried her best to provide those kinds of books to me. But unfortunately, there wasn't very many available when I was growing up. There was a very small percentage of children's books that were representative of Pacific Islander stories or voices. And so um, try as my mother did, there wasn't very many of those stories available, which is the reason why so much of the stories that she gifted to me when I was young were really oral in nature. She would tell me about growing up on the islands and about all of like the fun and the mischief that she would get into with her cousins and with her siblings. She would tell me about um, you know, the legends. She would tell me about, about the white lady and about the night marchers of the islands. And I just remember those being some of the most vibrant memories of my childhood that I found to be incredibly inspirational. And so that was in a large way, uh, the original inspiration for Aloha Everything that I carried with me throughout the, my many years of becoming a storyteller until the day when I finally had the opportunity to create um, this book. So that was largely the inspiration. Somewhere over.